the Most High kept me. Yahweh is a keeper. Oh yes, he is. Oh yes, she is. Oh yes, she is. I know you heard that. Jamal Bryan's sister says one of the most egregious statements I have ever heard. Just blasphemous, just abominable, just terrible, just shocking. And I'm surprised that no one left or no one corrected her when she made this statement. Not just made the statement, she repeated herself, all right? But we're not surprised that she said this because she is Jamal Bryant's sister. And Jamal Bryant has said a lot of heretical things, all right? So I'm going to play this video for you guys and show you how it's just ridiculous and unbiblical. God will preserve you. When the pain makes you feel empty, God will preserve you. I believe somebody can testify, God preserved me. The Most High kept me. Yahweh is a keeper. Oh, yes, he is. Oh, yes, she is. Oh, yes, she is. I know you heard that. She said, Yahweh is a keeper. Oh, yes, he is. Oh, yes, she is. Oh, yes, she is. She doubled down on using a masculine term or pronoun for God. Let's listen again. It wasn't a mistake. Listen again. Yahweh is a keeper. Oh, yes, he is. Oh, yes, she is. Oh, yes, she is. Yahweh is a keeper. Oh, yes, he is. Oh, yes, she is. Oh, yes, she is. Blasphemous. Blasphemous. The Bible says in John chapter 4, verse 24, God is spirit and those who worship him must, must worship him in spirit, in truth. Okay, Jesus even taught us how to pray in Matthew chapter 6, verse 9. He said, pray then like this, our Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. It's not our mother who art in heaven. This right here is an abomination. And you're seeing people, you're seeing people with the full video. I made it just portrait, but in the full landscape, you're seeing people clapping. Amen. Amen. This is literally blasphemous literally ridiculous first corinthians chapter 8 verse 6 yet for us there was one god the father from whom all for whom are all things and for whom we exist and one lord jesus christ through whom are all things and through whom we exist yet for us there was one god the father not the mother so to you she is just ridiculous you know what it is it's this satanic feminist movement and let me say it F feminist movements are demonic they are satanic it's they they are jezebelic i believe in rights for women but this whole feminist movement is antichrist it's anti-biblical okay and i don't believe in masculine movements in the sense of trying to diminish women or something like that. But the mask, the feminine movements, I'm telling you, it, it is demonic. We just need to have biblical movements, not masculine movements and feminine movements. We need to have biblical move. What does God say? What does the Bible say? You feel me? So this, this right here, guys, I'm going to tell you why she's saying Yahweh. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Because guess what? She is going to vote for Kamala Harris. Harris. She she does not like. She's totally against Trump. Okay, I don't want to make this political, but she is someone that's going to vote for Kamala Harris. And Kamala Harris is all about the pronouns. Kamala Harris is all about they, she, them, alien, dog, cat. That's what Kamala Harris is all about. And I'm going to prove it to you in this vi video right here. Count the number of times some preachers mention sexual orientation and preach zero sermons about domestic violence, zero sermons about sexual assault, zero sermons about molestation, zero sermons about racism. Oh, they got a lot of courage to make jokes about brothers who they consider feminine, but they have no courage to stand up for women who are being violated and children who are being abused. Don't tell me how big your God is if you won't stand up against abuse. And to add 
insult to injury on this very Sunday all over America. Ka, 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 ka. There are pastors in holy places calling for their members to support an unrepentant rapist to make him the head of this nation. You see, this is like, you see, you see what I'm saying? She's talking about Donald Trump here, an unrepentant, I don't want to say the word because YouTube might flag it. She's saying an unrepentant rapist. That's what she's, that she just said, right? So obviously she's going to vote for Kamala and the crowd is, the church is screaming and saying, yeah, the church is bewitched. The members are bewitched. This lady was on the stage and she said, yes, she is. Yes, she is. And people are like clapping and whatnot. And I might add that part in where you can actually see them clapping, the woman clapping and whatnot, because it's ridiculous. They're so bewitched that they have been blinded. So now she's calling out Donald Trump. When you know Donald Trump does not stand for this whole LGBTQ movement. He doesn't. He doesn't. But this, this, this woman does. She stands for it. She stands for the, the pronouns and the she calling God a she. This is happening within a church. This is happening within a church. And I'm going to say this. Jamal Bryant got major issues. N not even his, his doctrine is ridiculous. Yeah, anyone can motivate anyone. Anyone can say something biblical. But this man has said the most heretical, ridiculous statements ever. And I'm not just talking about what we disagree when it comes to tongues and it comes to deliverance. I'm talking about statements that are just off the wall. Statements that are just off the wall. Like he said, Jesus was out of order 85% of his life. Take a look at this. At the risk of being heretical tonight, might I suggest to you that 85% um, of Jesus' life, he was out of order. Eighty-five percent of his life, he was doing what he was not called to do. God, y'all done got quiet. For eighty-five percent of his life, he was not flowing in his God-given function. Eighty-five percent of his life, he is doing what his natural father wanted. Yes, because the Bible says in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 1 through 4, children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother. This is the first commandment with a promise that it may go well with you and that you may live long in the land. So obviously Jesus is going to do what is written, what he has written because he is God. So Jesus is not going to go against his own word. He, his name literally is the word of God in the book of Revelation. He's clothed, in, he's clothed in red and dipped in blood, and his name is the word of God. Jesus was not out of order. He was literally walking in alignment with the word of God, which is him, the written word. Period. He's walking in alignment with what was written in the Old Testament. Honoring your father and your mother. He, it's not the fact that he was born, and when he's born, he just going about his business, oh, ministry, God the Father, I just got to do this. No, 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 no. He, he had to obey his parents and live with his parents. There was a time for him to go into ministry at 30. He concluded at 33. He was not out of order. He followed biblically of how to be raised and obey his parents until it was his, his time for ministry. But it did not line up with his divine DNA. What? Did you know that there was an appointed time for you, for God to call you into ministry? When we look at Jeremiah, when we look at Moses, when we look at any of these people, they, they live just regular lives until God called them. 
until God anointed them. Do you understand me? Until they were set apart. Jesus was doing everything right. And it was his time when he came and he met John the Baptist and he was baptized and God was pleased with him because the Bible says that this is my, the Bible says that uh, when Jesus got baptized, heaven's open. This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. So if Jesus was out of order and not doing what is right, 85% of his life, then why did God say, this is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased? 85% of his life and he's anointed. He's called, he's chosen, and he's wrong. He was never wrong. This is a satanic, literally a satanic teaching. The Bible says in John chapter 6, verse 38 through 40, For I have come down from heaven not to do my will, but to do the will of him who sent me. So you got to understand, initially, the will of God for every person that is born out of a woman is to honor their father and mother, first of all. That was the first thing that Jesus was called to do. Honor your father and mother in the earth realm. And that's what he did. That's what he did. Now, when it was time for ministry, when it was time for him to walk in his divine calling. Now, he was already walking the moment that... Jesus was born, he was walking in his divine calling. The moment he was born, because he was sent, the moment he was born, he was walking in it. Already, he was walking in it. Okay? But there's a difference between that and then now time for actually walking in ministry. The moment he came into the earth, he was living his divine calling. As he got sent from heaven, okay, and now he came through Mary. He's already, he's already walking his divine calling. He just has to mature and grow and then be ready to now enter the ministry that God had set forth for him because there were certain people that God had planned for him to become his disciples. So God obviously knew this ahead of time. So those, those people also had to grow up. You feel me? John chapter 68, verse 40, for I have come down from heaven not to do my will, but to do the will of him who sent me. And this, the will of him who sent me, that I shall lose none of all those he has given me, but raise them up on the last day. For my Father's will is that everyone who looks to the Son and believes in him shall have eternal life, and I will raise them up at the last day. Jesus even said in Mark chapter 14, verse 36, and he said, Abba, Father, all things are possible for you. Remove this cup from me, yet not what I will, but what you will. So you can see we're not surprised with Jamal Bryant's sister saying those saying that heretical statement. She doubled down and said it twice. We're not surprised because Jamal Bryant says the most absolute ridiculous things. I don't know how, I ain't gonna lie to you, I don't know how people go to that church. I don't know how. 